When I watch martial artists practice, there's always these claims of superhuman strength. Now, on some level, it's kind of true. All it is is they're able to do things that normal people can't do. But the reason they're doing it is not because they're super, super strong. It's because they understand physics. And most people don't understand the physics. So to them, it's like magic. So let me show you a couple things that will help your martial arts that will make you super strong that don't require a lot of strength. First one's rotation. When people come in new, it is instinctive for them to struggle and fight. So if they grab an arm and they want to pull it, what they want to do is they want to pull with their muscle. What they have to understand is it's not muscle, it's rotation. You see this right here? Now it's legs too. You got to have the whole legs, but you want to rotate. So if I just go like this and I go down, right? It's okay, but watch this. See how like as, I, as you roll and you rotate, you get more on it. I was watching one the other day where a guy was trying to go like this, he's trying to pull back. And I'm like, why? Just rotate. See how like there's like a, a rotation there. So you take your hands, you extend them and you rotate like this. And that allows you to get the roll on it. Same thing with this one, right? If I go like this and I pull, why do I want to do that? What I want to do is I want to roll and I want to rotate those joints. It creates a ton of strength. It's the same with striking too. If you just hit somebody, that's great. But if you hit and rotate with it, it adds power to your technique. So get used to the idea of not pulling with muscle, but learning how the rotations work. And you should know these already. Everyone knows these rotations, or they should know these rotations. And remember, they come from the feet. Next one's wave. Again, most people are very tight, stiff in the legs, and they come from their hips or their shoulders, but they don't know how to come through the whole body. It's a relaxation. You have to learn how to relax in the body to create weight. Everything should transfer from your feet to your legs, to your hips, to your back, to your shoulders, out your hands. If you can't create this motion and your muscling thing. So if he puts a lot of weight on me, right? And I lift him, it's a lot of effort because I'm, I'm doing this, which is a lot of work. But if I just wave, you wouldn't believe the amount of power there is in wave. Just that comfortable technique, right? So if he grabs me and I muscle and I struggle against him, it's not about muscle. It's about relaxation and finding the angle and then just let my body transfer through it. So his strength is going like this, right? If I go like this, I'm fighting against his strength. But if I find an angle that's not good for him and I wave through it comfortably, it's not that I'm super strong. It's just I'm going to where he's not strong. If I could find the spot where he's not strong, then I'd go around his strength. It doesn't make me super strong. It just makes me smart. If we're resisting, if we're playing like Mercy, like he's fighting on it really hard, he's strong like this. And like, we have to fight against each other. I'm fighting against his strength. But if I find the circle and the angle that allows me to do that, yeah, it looks strong, it's impressive, but it's just physics. I'm not going against his strength, I'm going around his strength. So there's a nice little wave there, and there's not resistance. Mass shift. Look, this is an easy one. People do it wrong. Our center of mass is where our strength is. When you move somebody, you want to take your center of mass and go through that. If I expend my center of mass and then try to work with them, I've lost all my force. So now I'm just pushing with this. So ideally what you want to do is you have to learn how to set your feet Put your hands, and your hands and your mass should hit at the same time. I shouldn't be hands and mass. I shouldn't be mass and hands. I should be together. That's all it is. All you gotta do is figure out how you have to time your mass and your hand to where it makes contact at the right time and the energy transfers through. If you were out of alignment and you go like this, or you go like this, it takes a significant amount of power away from you. 
I've thrown people around in my class who are significantly bigger than me. It's not because I'm stronger than them. It's because I know how to use my weight. If they learned the same thing I did at their size, they would throw me through the wall. But it's just a, it's an education thing. One more thing you got to understand about power is it's mind over matter a lot of times. You know, you, you hear these stories of like these little girls where a tractor falls and their dad and they're able to pick the damn tractor up because your body and adrenaline and can do things where your mind directs it. If your mind is directed the wrong way, it doesn't work. So look, maybe a simple one. You try this, I'm telling you, it's really interesting. If you focus on a point, that's where your mind stops. So if I go like this and I stare at his hand, that's all I'll get out of this. If I ignore him and I'm going to the floor, <laughs> it'll go to the floor. When you hit somebody, if you focus on this, this is where the punch stops. If you focus through them, like they're not there, that punch will go on. Power is just relearning how to throw your mind. Right? And it's not magic. I'm not suggesting it's some energy or I'm knocking him away. There are a lot of things in physics that help you be really strong. But if your mind's not there, it doesn't work either. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments. Feel free to share. It helps the channel grow.